there's songs that I write that I kind of feel like they're done already and they're just waiting and I'll just write it in 20 minutes, you know, half an hour and it's done. And I d I've never been analytical. I've never sat and gone, oh, what does that mean? Or, you know, and I'm more focused than I used to be when I was young. When I was writing when I was a teenager, it was very automatic writing and I would just write and not question at all what I was actually trying to say. And so I'm much more aware now that I want to be more concise and I want to, you know, the lyrics that I write, I want to be important. So there isn't anything throwaway. But at the same time, I still allow it to just flow and it really does just, it's a bit of a lightning bolt and it'll just go and go and I'll just get a pen and it'll come very quickly. Other Side of the World is about, inspired by my two friends who live, one lived in America and one lived in Scotland and they, they, they were together for five years and never ever lived in the same country and I don't know how they did it but they came to a point where they just decided that they couldn't do it anymore and they were completely in love with each other but they just, neither of them were willing to sacrifice their life to be with the other and everyone else is just going, what are you doing? You're, you should be together and they're like, well I know we should be but neither of us feel brave enough to totally have faith in that and they decided that they'd split up while they were staying with me cheers but I wrote a song <laughs> but it was just you know I've had a long distance relationship too and it's just such an unpleasant experience and but it's so beautiful it's very it's incredibly romantic to have a long distance relationship but horrible I mean, I'm really fascinated by the idea of simplicity with music. And Steve Osborne, who produced the album, and I were really keen to use it as a tool, to use simplicity as an important tool in making the album. So we didn't want a studio rammed full of five different machines that essentially do the same thing. So we stripped it back as much as possible, in many places, to just me and a drummer, and then really just let the song tell us what else it needed. Um, and I remember seeing a brilliant interview with Keith Jarrett, the pianist, and he said, uh, the more experience you have, the more simplicity is profound, and timing is the most complex part of simplicity. I really related to him saying that, just the fact that you kind of have to earn simplicity, you have to learn simplicity, you have to learn which bits are important because there's no point in just stripping it back and not playing very much. It's actually learning which parts of what you impulsively come up with are important. I initially sat down with Steve and said, listen, we've got a problem. When I play on my own, it's great, it's sassy, it's got attitude, it's moving and it, it, you know, it's different, it sounds different. And as soon as I sit down with the band, it goes completely traditional and boring. And um, we said, well, if you're going to use a band, strip it back, you're going to use a drummer. So just go in with just you and a drummer. So I went in with the drummer, and he ended up putting me on a semi-acoustic guitar, which is kind of half electric, it's almost electric. Plugged me into an amp, whacked up the volume, and we just played miniature disasters. And we thought maybe, you know, we'd, we'd work out that song during the day and it was like bang suddenly it was this really rootsy Bo Diddley thing <laughs> and he was like oh my god it's Bo Diddley and it was and it was a really defining moment in what happened with the style of the album and there's definitely groups of songs on the album I think and you know there's some sort of more ballad style ones and but there's definitely this thread of kind of rootsy bluesy rhythmic stuff and that's the stuff that I just love playing.